All right, guys, welcome back to another review. Uh, today we are looking at the uh, Outdoor Vitals sleeping system that I am running this year. So I'm running their, uh, their insulated pad, their liner, and their bag. Um, some of the other guys in the crew are running, are running different things. Um, a couple of us are running the same bag, which I'll dive into. Um, I think Trevor's running one of their tents, but um, I don't have that all with me right now. I will, and I will put a video out for that. But for now, let's dive on into these things that I have right here on the table. All right, so the first thing I have today to show you guys is um, the Summit Series Stormloft Zero Degree Bag. So this is kind of like their flagship um, from Outdoor Vitals. Um, it's a zero degree bag, like I said. I think it comes in a 30 degree, a 15 degree, and a zero degree. Um, this is gonna be the zero degree. Um, six foot edition I think because they have a six six edition but I'm only five four so comes in a nice bag and holder I think this bag only comes in at like three and a half ounces um, I don't take this bag with me so my pack I will just I'll just stuff this at the at the bottom of my pack all right so the bag is made out of a uh, tendonire ripstop fabric so if you guys are familiar with the uh, Western Mountaineering Terralite, I think that comes in at like a 20 denier. Um, the Stone Glacier Shilkoot, I think that comes in at like 15 or so. So this is at 10. So it feels honestly, it feels cheap, but it's not because I've put it to the test and it, this thing is bomb proof. All right, so more about the bag. Um, the first thing that stood out to me when, when purchasing it um, was the center zip design. So uh, I don't think you see that a lot um, on sleeping bags. Um, I think the most common is the side zip. Um, it comes from about your chin all the way down to the foot box. It leaves you around two feet um, is where the zipper ends. So as for the zipper, it's a YKK zipper. I know that word gets thrown out a lot, especially on like clothing and hunting stuff. Um, but YKK zippers, they're just well known for their durability. Now this one, um, I don't know all the information behind it, but I have watched a couple OV videos, and the way to describe it as, it's a, it's a snagless design. Uh, so I've used it a bunch of times, and I have yet to have a snag, and it's really smooth. Um, I think I've actually had it snag once, and it was because I zipped it up too fast. Um, but again, I think that would happen on any bag. So for the inside of the bag, um, what I really love is that you got two um, baffles right here. Now, what those act as is, if those baffles weren't there, you're gonna have this extra room um, right here when you're laying down. Um, these baffles secure that area and don't allow any cold air to come through the, um, come through the bag because of the center zip design. Now to mention, um, this one is green on the inside. That's the zero degree bag. Um, I think they come in blue um, for like the 30 degree, red for the 15 or vice versa, but um, this one's a zero degree, so it's green. So as for the hood, scoot this down a little bit. Uh, you guys have your draw cords. Now I haven't, um, I haven't had to pull those tight because the times I have used it, it, it wasn't very cold, so I didn't have to tight that sucker down. Um, headroom, that's probably my only complaint about the bag, and it's not even really a complaint. Um, I run a Teton pillow, it's a, it's a small, compactable pillow but it feels just like one at home I sleep best on those um, but when I have my pillow in there and I'm all zipped up um, I do feel like I'm sticking out of the bag when I feel like I should be in the bag so uh, it I feel like it could be a little bit more deeper um, it's pretty shallow for right now so the million dollar question how much does it weigh um, you're looking at around 2.6 pounds for the bag which is pretty light um, like I said the carry the carry sack it comes with uh, I think it's 3.5 ounces, so you're looking almost three pounds for the whole bag. Um, I'll tell you what, when you have it in your hand, it doesn't feel like three pounds. It feels like one pound. It's super light. So as far as dimensions go, I think you're getting around 22 inches down here, and it's going to taper up. Um, shoulder girth, you're getting around 62 inches, and lengthwise, you're getting around 72 inches. Um, now, me being about 5'4", 5'5", 140 pounds, I fit this bag perfect so I feel like anyone who's got a, a bigger muscle tone or, or a heavier set person might want to go for the 6'6 version but not just for the height just because of the more girth you're gonna get so one thing I haven't touched base on and is it's a 800 fill Stormloft water repellent down try to say that ten times fast um, 
most bags on the market are running between 750 to 950. Um, but for a bag for this price, that is a very good deal. Um, like I said, you look at bags that are up there in the $500, $600 range, it's the same stuff. They, they usually have their bags maybe $850 um, down. All right, so the next thing I wanna cover is uh, the liner. So Outdoor Vitals makes a micro polyester liner. Comes in around 7.6 ounces, so it's pretty stupid light. Uh, it comes with a bag. Um, but I don't have the bag with me. It, I lost it somewhere, but uh, it doesn't matter because I stuff this in my bag and then all that goes at the bottom of my uh, XO48. So one of the main reasons that I got a liner this year um, is the fact that I usually sleep in my gear. Now I don't sleep in my boots, but um, all the elements that we face, rain and blood and just dirt and pine needles, I don't want to track that into my bag. So. Um, the lighter the liner prevents me from doing that plus it feels just like uh, feels just like a bed sheet at home so it's super comfortable um, and call me crazy but I swear I slept warmer with this all right last but not least let's dive on into the pad um, I slept on this pad for two nights loved it um, some of the boys have used it on other trips uh, we've used it on carpet we've used it on um, our floor of the shelters when we're out in the woods um, and it's held up very nicely. The pad itself comes in at around 18 ounces, I think, and I'm pretty sure that's the pad and the bag itself. So the bag is pretty cool. Um, the pad's in here. It's got a roll top lid, and this bag doubles as a pump, and I will show you guys here in a little bit. All right, so I got the pad laid out for you guys. I don't have it blown up, but we can take care of that pretty quick. So the bag is unique and it's different than others. Um, it's got three inch baffles, one, two, three, four, four three inch baffles um, that run lengthwise down the bag and the rails are gonna be slightly bigger so it kind of cradles you. Um, I usually have mine slightly deflated. I usually don't have it this tight. As for fabric, uh, it's gonna come in at a 20 denier ripstop fabric so it's pretty dang durable. So most bags that I've ran, um, the second you pop that valve, air starts to come out. So um, that's not the case with this one. So it's got a unique valve. If you pop this open, no air comes out. And there's just a little lip or there's a little flap right there. The second I push that down, it starts to deflate. Um, and that'll make blowing up easier. Um, I blow it up with my mouth uh, and not the bag. Um, and to me, it's just time consuming yes the bag helps because it doesn't get um, all that condensation from our lungs and in our breath into the bag um, but I can blow it up like five six times faster uh, and I'll show you guys that all right so the bag comes in uh, it has this roll top right here and right at the end it has a valve and this valve fits that valve so I will pop this on here I'll let a little air out so I can show you guys. It just snaps on in. And then I've seen multiple ways to blow this up. Catch the air, roll it into the bag. Or I've seen a couple guys blow into the bag, lock it in, and roll it down. She's already pretty tight already, so that is a pretty cool feature. The only downfall that I have, um, and like I said, it's not even really a downfall, um, is I've had a hard time getting all the air out. So when it comes to you, when it ships to you, there's no air in it, and it's nice and it's nice and sealed up, and it's small. For the life of me, I can't get all the air out. So there's always when I end up rolling it up, it's probably I don't know about that thick um, not a huge issue but when it comes to space in your pack it definitely will add up over time so I hope that answered some of you guys' questions um, I love this setup I'm, I'm gonna be running it all year uh, I run it with a seek outside Eolus it's a floorless shelter two-man shelter um, I have nothing but great things to say 
obviously everyone's going to have their their uh, their pros and their cons i have a ton more pros than i do cons for this system um, if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section i will leave links to this stuff in the description if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up click that subscribe button down below maybe check out our most recent video and uh, we'll see you guys again on another opening morning review